Okay, so you're back on the... Yeah? Hello? You told me to... You, you asked me if you could put me on hold for two minutes. It's been uh, about five minutes that I've been on hold. The technician was supposed to have been at our place today. The person who I represent is a political candidate here in the state of Virginia. She is running a political campaign for government, for the Commonwealth of Virginia, the state government. She is an official candidate for this campaign. She was supposed to be using this telephone and this computer for her campaign, and Verizon promised her this service, and she doesn't have it. She's never received it. We're going on two months now. We ordered the service two weeks ago. Or, I'm sorry, we ordered the service on the 5th of September, and we were told that it would take two weeks, and here it is, the 26th of October. That was what I was trying to say. Can't you see how ludicrous that is? Can, I mean, can you just see how preposterous that is? We're talking about a lawsuit. We're filing suit against you. This video is part of the official lawsuit against Verizon. How much longer do you want me to hold on the phone? Just one to two, the last time, the, the, la the last time you told me one to two minutes, Mon Deep, it took about seven minutes. It took about seven minutes. I'm on the phone waiting for you. How long does it take for you to help your customers? We've been on the phone waiting for almost two months for you to help us. What is your problem? I've told you the issue. The technician was supposed to come out yesterday. He never came. And here I am in front of the County of Fairfax, Virginia, Government Center, videotaping and recording this telephone call for YouTube and people around the world. You do agree with me, you're telling me, you're telling me, I do, you're like, I do agree, I do agree with you, sir. So when is the technician going to come out to the facility? When? When, man? So the dude doesn't even answer my question. He then goes back to the elevator music. And we have now been on the phone for 51 minutes and 42 seconds. And then what they like to do is after you have imparted all this information, conveyed all this information, disseminated all this information, they like to hang up. And then you call back to Verizon and they're like, we don't, we, we don't know who you are. And then you do it again for another uh, hour. And then it's your whole day is done. And you're uh, dealing with Verizon. Okay. And the other thing you should know about Verizon is Verizon, when you try to find out who owns Verizon and how uh, Verizon is structured, the hierarchical structure of Verizon, what you find out is that it's broken up into all these different uh, corporations. And every one of the corporations has a slightly different, uh, you know, corporate trade name. And uh, therefore a different, uh, you know, filing system and different staff and in different locations around the world so that they can always pass the buck. So you call Verizon and you're like, yeah, I'm calling about DSL. And they're like, huh, what are you calling about? You're like, I'm calling about DSL. And then it's like the twilight zone because they don't know what DSL is. Then they're like, oh, you must be calling for online. And you're like, I guess I'm calling for online. You just asked what I was calling for. I said DSL. I'm not familiar with your nomenclature because I'm just the average guy, just the average Joe. Um, okay, I guess I'm calling for online. I don't really see that on most of your literature. It says DSL. I understand DSL is online, but sure, connect me to the online. So then you get to online and they're like, why are you calling? And you're like, I'm calling because I have an issue getting online. And they're like, oh, well, is it residential? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, oh, well, then you need to speak with the residential people. You're telling me that the tech, you're, tell, you're telling me, you're telling me that the tech, you're telling me. I didn't hear what you said, man. I, hey, listen, can you, can you hear me? Hey, Mondeep, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hey, Mon Deep, can you hear me? Are you there? Y yes, I'm here. The world can hear you, but I cannot hear you. What? What? Hello? Hello, Mon Deep. Hello? Anyway. In my fury, what I was trying to say was that, can you, yes, I am here. Can you hear me? 
I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can. I just it. Okay, listen, man. You're, you're talking really fast. You said something about the 1st of November and that the person that was supposed to have come over yesterday uh, canceled and now it's rescheduled for the 1st of November. Is it the 1st of November? I couldn't... Uh, second, second of the 2nd of November. Okay, well here's the problem I have with that. First of all, it's absolutely stupid. Secondly, no, no one called us to tell us this. Nobody called us to inform us that there was a cancellation. The only way I was able to find out was sitting on the phone with you for almost an hour while you repeatedly put me on hold. You're speaking so fast, I can't even understand most of what you're saying. You're talking to some concern. You keep saying that you're speaking with the concerned person, something about a teleconference. I haven't even heard a third person on the phone with us. Okay, you keep going back and forth to these different people on the telephone and I'm the customer that's been waiting for almost two months for this DSL. The person that was supposed to come out yesterday supposedly canceled the installation. I don't understand why. Why did that happen and why weren't we called? Verizon asked us yesterday, is there a number where you can be reached so that we can confirm that someone's coming out so that when the person's coming out to your place, that person can call you and say, hey, it's me, I'm the person who's scheduled to come out and install DSL, are you there, are you at the facility, I'm on my way. We didn't get that call. Neither did we get a call indicating that, nor did we get a call indicating that there was a cancellation. I had to sit on the phone and endure this madness, this torment for the past hour just to find out that it was canceled. And now you're telling me it's been pushed back to November 2nd. How do I know that that's even going to take place? And if in fact that takes place, that means that we would have DSL installed almost exactly 60 days after we first ordered it. Why? 